You're Good. everything a parent could ask for in yeah. a child. You've been so wonderful. I was a canine handler who had an explosive detection military working dog. My military working dog Rexo and I deployed to Iraq in 2008 individually as a dog team. During our 12 month deployment, I encountered four separate roadside bombs with concussion blasts and head trauma. One IED rendered me unconscious and I was airlifted to the hospital in Balad, Iraq. Due to those life changing events, I have been diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury, a toxic brain injury due to exposure to burn pits, seizures, a spinal cord injury, episodic and debilitating motor tics and tremors in my face and neck. As a result from a brain injury and toxic brain injury, I have a rare medical condition known as apraxia of the eyelid opening due to frontal temporal lobe damage and neurodegenerative retinal disease to both my eyes, which have left me visually impaired and functionally blind. For 13 months, as my conditions got worse, I sought care and treatment at the Loma Linda VA Medical Center in Southern California. After several emergency room visits, I was continually degraded, harassed, and blown off, repeatedly being told that my symptoms were psychological in nature. As my medical condition worsened, the care caregiver program at the VA said I no longer qualified for a full-time caregiver, meaning now I only qualify for a part-time caregiver to drive me to appointments, assist with bathing, feeding, and other activities of daily living. To get anything fixed with the caregiver program has made me feel so worthless and burdensome to my family that I almost tried to commit suicide on June 30th. I'd like to thank my wife and mother for assisting me in writing down my thoughts and putting together this video so I can present them in a meaningful manner because of the effects of my traumatic brain injury and memory problems. It took me two days and 22 takes along with taping my eyelids open to bring you this presentation. I thank you for your time. I am Maria Maddox, surviving spouse of Sergeant Brandon Maddox. He was stationed at Camp Gannon in Iraq from 2008 to 2009. Brandon passed away May 2013 from esophageal cancer stage 4. While stationed in Iraq, he was exposed to the burkins near his sleeping quarters. Brandon and I went to the VA several times before someone listened to us and decided to do a workup. He was diagnosed with a rare terminal cancer adenocarcinoma. I became Brandon's full-time caregiver at the time. We were also expecting our first child. Brandon lived for 10 months after being diagnosed. Our daughter Eva was only five months and was robbed of knowing her father. I only want the same benefits for her and I that the survivors of soldiers on active duty receive. It is frustrating to constantly feel like the forgotten voices. It feels as his service did not count. Hello, my name is Rocio Tamayo, and this is my husband, um, Brian Alvarado. And I just want to say that uh, Burn Pits 360 has, 360 has helped us out a lot um, since the beginning. Um, they made uh, Rosie reach out to us and um, made us aware of the caregiving program and also called the hospital to, and spoke to the social worker to, to have them provide us with the application. and. Um, <clears throat> has always followed up with us uh, in reference to Brian's um, health, the, the help that they provide um, and just reaching out to us is by far um, the best. While I was in Iraq both times, we, uh, we always used burn pits. We had a burn pit within 50 yards of where we slept and where we worked and where we ate. And then in 2009, 2010, I was at the Victory Base Complex at Camp Stryker at the Baghdad International Airport. And you could smell the burn pit. You couldn't see it. I never saw it, but you could smell it every morning. It's like you'd wake up and walk outside, and that's the first thing that you would smell. In October 2009, before I left Iraq, I started to cough. The doctors thought it was just allergies, so they gave me medicine. And when I got back to the States, the doctor at Fort Stewart, Georgia, said it was pneumonia. So they gave me medicine and sent me home. Follow up with my doctor a week later. He did a, uh, an MRI, 
on my lungs and seen that I had pulmonary fibrosis, <coughs> nodules, and scarring in my lungs. Immediately, he called Walter Reed after a uh, lung biopsy at Walter Reed. They found out that I had titanium, magnesium, iron, and silica in my, in my lungs. The problem I have with the VA is that they've denied me four or five times for housing grant because with breathing issues, you have to pretty much modify your house. We've had to use other groups that have graciously helped us out, uh, redo our bathroom to make it ADA qualified. I love the military. I'd go back right now if I had a good set of lungs. And I'm not speaking bad of anybody. I just need somebody at the Pentagon or wherever to say, guess what, guys, you know, we did this and uh, we need to help these guys and girls. I just need, excuse me, we just need help. There's many soldiers out there that had this issue, some not as bad as me, some worse, and uh, we, we need help. Thank you very much.